Hey there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. We're doing your tarot reading for the present moment. This reading is good for right now, regardless of the date. It's good for whenever it finds you. However, we are in the month of December, so technically it is a December reading. But listen, if this reading finds you later after the month of December, it's okay. It's all right. This reading is good for whenever it finds you, okay? Let's begin. Holy Spirit, we're connecting with the zodiac sign of Capricorn. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the sign of Capricorn right now? guidance clarity answers confirmation whatever it is that you need guys right now you will receive it here through this reading we have perception and trickery hmm all right guys this is bringing attention to how you're seeing things how are you seeing things right now trickery what is this saying are you tricking yourself are you fooling yourself or is this somebody fooling you it could be either or are you fooling yourself or is somebody fooling you? How are you seeing things? How are you perceiving things right now? That is being brought to your attention, guys. Let's continue. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about perception and trickery. Ooh. Two more cards that are green. Two more. You see all this green? Hmm. Grief and victim. Hmm. Grief and victim. Again, a couple of things, guys. Two things, okay? This could go either way. Right now, you are either seeing yourself like a victim or there is somebody else that you're dealing with that is making themselves the victim. Whichever one it is, okay? It, I, I feel like it's a, it's a false perception. Then right now I heard, don't fall for it. Grief. For some of you, I feel like this could be in relation to work. Maybe this could uh, involve some sort of money matter for some of you because of all the green, but as well because of this squirrel being there. I'm getting that, um, Capricorn, you've been working really hard. You see what, what the, what is this? An acorn? We see it here too. And what is happening? Oh, the dragon's like, uh-uh. And what does the squirrel do? They collect ac acorns, right? They do. They do, you know, a, a squirrel is really hard work. And so um, be, that's being brought to my attention right now. That's what your spiritual team wants to bring to your attention, guys. Like you've worked really hard. You've worked really hard for something. For somebody to just come and take it away. And, and I feel like that's only possible through some sort of trickery, guys, falling to, to deception. I'm hearing which is preventable. Victim. Grief. Many of you are dealing with a situation right now that um, uh, 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 you're dealing, you have the, there's the possibility of perhaps, okay, repeating a mistake. Or, or I mean, and what I mean by that is there is somebody, guys, that um, I'm. Let's just say it like this, guys. There's somebody that um, I I think it's doesn't deserve whatever it is that you can provide them with, whether that is time, whether that's energy, whether that's love, whether that's money, whether that's help, assistance, service, whatever. Victim and grief trickery this also screams like like guilt victim you see there's the dragon there and there's a, a, a cute little um squirrel this is about somebody fooling you guys and uh, the the pain which this grief is just pointing to loss loss that you've experienced this could be a relationship It is a relationship, um, but you know, what, what relationship for each and every one of you is going to differ. Could be romantic, could be a family member, could be somebody from work, it could be a friend. Grief, loss, grief is just loss. You see the loss, you can lose something, guys. Somebody, you can lose something and you're gonna end up feeling like a victim. This is a time where you can break a cycle 
There could be somebody, there is somebody pulling at your heartstrings who could be taking your kindness for weakness, for example. Yeah, there, yeah. And, 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 and your kind nature, look, perception, what is happening? What's going on right now, guys? It's important for you to see things clearly, which sometimes there's nothing around you that is going to help you with that, right? Sometimes what you're seeing, how somebody's acting, the situation points to everything's fine. In moments like that, guys, like this, I feel like you have to trust your intuition, there's somebody greedy. There's greedy. This is about money, guys. It is. This. I feel like this is about money. I mean, look, here we have this dragon. And the dark side of the dragon is they're greedy. They like hoarding money. It, the dragon came out twice. Like yeah, this. And you see all the green, 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 loss. You can lose money. You can. Trick. It's somebody's trying to trick you excuse me, they're pretending to be a victim too. Like, oh, you know, they whatever they're telling you or not telling you, like wh whatever picture they're painting for you guys, it's, it's, they're gonna look maybe harmless victim. I'm also hearing like right now, sob story, like there's somebody telling you, oh, you know, I was victimized or this happened to me and you're like listening to them, but it's like, it's all a trick. Somebody's painting themselves as a victim. What does that mean? Well, it, it means that they're, they're making themselves seem like they're experiencing something really bad, really terrible, and that they're in need of compassion, of, of support. When, when in reality, they, they, they don't. They don't. When in reality, it's just like they're, they're the ones, right, that uh, maybe... They're, they're the ones that, um, that are, that are doing the bad things, right? They are grief. I lost, I lost this. I, I lost, I lost, uh, I lo I'm losing, I'm hearing, I'm losing my house or I'm losing this or I'm, I'm losing that. Now, for those of you that might be in that situation where you're the one that is uh, maybe experiencing a loss, a difficult situation right now, and you need help, it's important um, to, to just be careful because you can become victimized right now. Be careful who you trust is pretty much what this is saying. Trickery. Okay, that's what's happening. That's what's going on, guys, right now. That's the most important message that your spiritual team has for you guys. Grief. There could be a, a, the loss of a pet. We see it here. You see that? And, but, you know, I'm also, what I was getting earlier, I'm not sure if I shared this with you guys. Like, there's old wounds, right? Loss. I'm also hearing like shared experiences. This grief card reminds me of shared experiences, traumatic experiences, and 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 um. Well, I'm hearing feeling compassion. We have look the wolf, look the wolf, the wolf, <laughs> the wolf, <laughs> the wolf, guys. And it's the moon. Somebody, some somebody's pulling the the. Is it the wool over your eyes? We see the seven of cups. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look, the seven of seven of swords. Five of swords. Ooh, listen, guys. You need to use your higher wisdom, the hermit card. You need to use your higher wisdom. I mean, don't move fast. If there's somebody's trying to rush things, look, you have to move slowly, slowly. Don't rush anything. Seven of cups, look. Oh, doesn't it go? Look, the moon, there's a wolf. Guys, which is what? I'm thinking about, what is it? Little Red Riding Hood. They fool you. The moon. Everything is not as it seems. Oh, this is such a clear message, guys. That's what you need to hear right now. Somebody's lying. Somebody's fooling you. There's somebody deceiving you. There's somebody with bad intentions. The moon. So, and look, it's a wolf. And then we have the seven of cups, which is what? Illusions, confusion. Like I can't really see clearly. You see how the giraffe, 
Now, th this is about foresight because giraffes, or, you know, they're so tall so they can see from far away. They can see something coming, the giraffe, that you can't because of their stature, how tall they are. So I see that. I, I interpret that as foresight, like you have great foresight to see what's coming. You, this is like you, you don't see what's coming. Either one, the circumstances right now are you can't, you don't really know. You know, it's like you don't really know how things are going to turn out. Is this as well talks about confusing circumstances? Like you don't have, it's, it's not, it's not what it seems. Look, what the seven of swords is a thief. And we look, it's a thief. This is bad intention, but this is one bad intentions, right? It's, it's, it's bringing attention to trickery. We see it here, but it's also bringing attention to you and your actions. Like it's saying, like, be very careful what you do, what you don't do. Be careful what you do, how you handle the situation. Be careful. I mean, because dragons can be ruthless. The dark side of, I mean, dragons, I love dragons. <laughs> I do, but you know, with everything, with every spirit animal, for example, everything has a good, a positive and a negative, everything, qualities. And the negative of the dragon, like I feel like it's greedy, but it's the dragon can also be ruthless, guys. A dragon can be very ruthless. Seven of swords. So, you know, just be careful how you handle this situation. It could be a, a sensitive, a, a sensitive matter. It's a sensitive matter. Just be careful how you handle this because look, things are unforeseen. Everything is not what it seems. Somebody is straight up just lying. They're deceiving you right now. Look, the two of swords and they're, and they're deceiving you by either not giving you all the information, giving you all the wrong information. And look, we have the five of cups. Like, um, I mean, this is b better safe than sorry, Capricorn. Listen, that's your message right now. Better safe than sorry. Oh, but they're going to be sad. You know, sometimes it's like, listen, sometimes you just, I can see that, you know, like, oh, somebody acting like a victim, like you're not helping me out or you're not doing this. Like, oh, and then they put on, you know, I'm like guilt, a guilt trip, five of cups, or you just made me feel sorry. But it's like, listen, that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. Better safe than sorry is what I'm hearing. That is the biggest message that's coming through for you, Capricorn. You don't have all the details. This is also saying, don't do anything right now. Don't take any, don't take any action right now you, because you don't have all the details. This could also be saying, wait, you know, slow down. The turtle is here. Wait and you will, things will start becoming more clear. So two messages, one better safe than, it's it pretty much all across the board is saying better safe than sorry. But if, if we have a matter here where a decision needs to be made, it's saying, don't do it now. Wait. Don't make any decisions right now. Do not. That's the message, guys. Let's get some closing messages. That's clear to me. That's clear to me from the get-go. Look, we have the crow. Look at the animals that are coming through, guys. The wolf, the raccoon, the giraffe, clouded. You see this? Every time I see a crow, it, it it speaks about, it's like a warning sign for deception. Closing messages. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VultureVoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. Closing messages for Capricorn. Fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, as access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Fertility. You know, this fertility is, it, this reminds me of the Empress. And what the Empress is, this very uh, fertile, very generous, has a whole lot to give. It's like this endless, and uh, en it's like endless, endless uh, energy. And well, people tend to exploit that. So be careful, guys, the people that you're attracting, like they're like this fertility. It's like there's a lot like you have such a, a positive and fertile energy. And well, it, it can attract it, It's going to, it's attracting. Listen, it's attracting very good things. There's a lot of great things happening right now in your life. This month of December, look forward to it, guys. 
fertility, the month of April for some of you. Um, but you know, that also attracts negative attention and negative people guys that are trying to exploit. It is a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. What have you been thinking about new? What have you been, what do you need to put your time and your energy, invest your time wisely guys. I'm here because everything that you touch, everything that you give your time and your energy to, guys, this time around is going to flourish, okay? We have stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Stay strong in your faith. Don't fall to negative thinking, especially as it comes to these uh, new projects, these new ideas, guys, these these new conditions, this this newness that we have here, it's important for you to to, to stay focused on on what is what is positive. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a, a positive mindset. So you see, this is saying, listen, things things can really go either way, but it, it and it all depends on how you your attitude. We could say your attitude, your mindset. Where's your mindset? Stay positive, guys. Love life for some of you. What's it say? New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Nice. Let's get two more. Mess let's get, yeah, let's get another message from here and we're done. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. Closing message, closing message. Here we go. Freedom and trust. Freedom freedom and we have a woman that's actually in a cage if you're able to see that i feel like what this is saying guys like don't get yourself involved in anything that is going to limit your that's going to limit you don't get involved in anything that's going to limit you this is also saying to break free from any limiting beliefs that you have again especially as they pertain to any new projects any new endeavors new ideas that you have anything that you're trying to birth into life right now like step out of that. Um, this is about overcoming limiting beliefs, finding freedom, guys, from 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 negative thoughts, right? Because what's the message here? A positive outcome is dependent on keeping a positive mindset. One more card, and we're done. Hold on, we had another one, didn't we? Oh, trust. You need to trust your intuition, guys. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. I'm hearing in when in doubt, the hermit, go within, withdraw. Many of you, you need to withdraw from a situation right now because things are a little fuzzy. Withdraw. Don't, don't and trust. I'm hearing trust the process, trust the journey, guys. Keep a positive mindset. Listen to your intuition. I'm hearing in withdraw and take things slow. Don't rush into things. Okay. It's very important. You have the will, you have the power, you have the willpower, guys. You have everything it is that you need within you to see things through. Again, specifically as they pertain to new projects, new endeavors, new ideas. This is what I have for you. Capricorn, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.